Friends, Dr. Murphy, I'm going to pick up on this story of gaslighting again. All right, so 68-year-old physician, me, the most experienced geriatrician uh, in our state, we got caught in this system, and Attorney General Phil Weiser gaslit me out of medicine, stripped me of my job, my license, everything, income. I sued him on February 19th of this year, and then he responds by censoring our very successful YouTube channel. Bad move, Phil, okay? So I'm exploring running for governor of this state in 2026, or if I decide not to, I will support anyone that exposes the corrupt Democrat party that has taken over Colorado. I mean, really, where is freedom of speech when almighty, all-powerful Attorney General Phil Weiser can censor innocent people after stealing money from them? <laughs> Crazy. And so I, I'm just one example. I'm an extreme example of it. But this story of gaslighting is, help, is uh, happening to clinicians throughout the country. And the five issues that cause it are uh, vaccinations, abortion, transgender issues, pain control, drug addiction, and all that, and then divorce. All it takes in this crazy country of ours is a false allegation by anyone. It can be anonymous. Um, the whistleblower never is exposed, though I found out who it was in my case. <laughs> crazy. And uh, they get go by scot-free, and that very good, good clinician is then stuck in a system being judged by psychiatrists. How crazy is that? <laughs> okay. I call psychiatry psychobabble now. It is a bunch of BS. Uh, where they're just justifying their existence, uh, mislabeling, you know, our human condition with all kinds of crazy diagnoses. And this is after I took care of more psychiatrically ill patients than any practicing physician. I'm a geriatrician. These folks, whether they're the homeless, drug addicts, whatever, would end up in nursing homes. I knew all my patients there when I was able to practice, right? So there will be justice down the road and uh, the craziness in Colorado. By the way, it's happening in other states too because the ones that have the power and the control are the legislators, the attorney generals, lawyers, right? And psychiatrists who don't know what the hell they're doing. Crazy.